Welcome back everyone to Horizon Zero Dawn. Uh, wrong button. It's, uh, <laughs> it's been a while since I played. I think a week or two. I've been, uh, I've been currently binging for that new Vikas. And it's been, it's been loads of fun. I've gotten, I think, 70 hours on that game. Been, uh, been pushing some really long sessions. And it's starting to really take its toll. Both, uh, physically and mentally. And I'm going the wrong way. But, I am enjoying myself. Relatively. One thing I have noticed is uh, I've, been, I've played Fallout 4 nearly to its entirety, I think. I'm going to have to uh, play it again and record it just to uh, just to get it out there on the channel. That way it's official that PG has played it. But I played Fallout 4 and I'm noticing that... Uh, some of the differences, some of the good and bad of both games, or both games have good and bad, but I'm enjoying one more than I would the other, I think is what I'm trying to say. I'm really tired. I am... Uh, <laughs> I'm not certain I'm making much cohesive sense at the moment. Because, again, I've been pushing some really long hours. I think, like, nine hour sessions a day. Like, I wake up, get something to eat and drink, push uh, nine hour sessions, and then do uh, post post recording processing with my uh, my audio because if I didn't then uh, my microphone would sound like this operator go ahead and put up a side by side <laughs> of uh, my mic before post uh, processing and after post processing just so the uh, just so the peeps can understand what I'm recording and what you're hearing is essentially my PC. It has a uh... Oh god, that's right. I have to uh, I have to knock the arrows. But yeah, my PC's engine my PC's fan. Oh boy, is essentially a uh, a jet turbine. And it's because uh, oh fuck, did not even see him. It's because of all the uh, all the dust that has uh, collected from it. I should really clean out my. Uh, my PC and fix the uh, fix the fan that way. Post processing is not as strenuous because I have to. Uh, I have. No, no wait, that is the wrong one. Hmm, should I clear the corrupted zone? Yeah, why not? Uh, got plenty of fire arrows. Oh, 
where's the other one? I know he's up there. Oh! What's I talking about? Oh yeah, my uh, my fan. I really need to clean the uh, my computer. Okay, you're dead. Now you're gonna die. And everything will be peachy cane. I shall have restored balance to the galaxy. Emperor Palpatine did nothing wrong. <laughs> it was all Anakin. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are you fucking getting my loot here, Aloy? It's right there. Alright, that should be this corruption zone cleared. What else do I need to do? Operator, do I have a list of things to do? I know one of them is uh, air clean. Clean with like compressed air my uh, entire computer. And uh, I kind of want to rearrange my, uh, my room just a bit, but. If I do that, I'm not going to be able to record anything or edit anything for a very long time until I get my room situated again. Which I don't really want to do, but at the same time, I feel like I need it. Maybe. I've got a pretty nice uh, setup in my room at the moment. So I don't. I don't think it needs it. It's more of a. Uh, Personal desire. Uh, so let's see. Yeah, it's it's not a need; it's a desire at the moment. So not uh, not too important. So first one, obviously, clean my uh, tower desktop because that is a cliff that I'm running to. I should get back on the road. But yeah, cleaning the computer is always important. I feel like a broken rocket. It's pretty late. I already said that. Uh, yeah. What are we down again? Oh yeah, I remember from last time. Even though it's been two weeks since I've played. Where is my... Yeah, come here boy, let me... Let me touch you, touch you with the Aloy's blue electronic deck. So, we're hunting... Uh, we're hunting escaped convicts. And one of them was at a bandit camp. I remember that from last episode. I am going the right way now. I'm going the wrong way. I have to go this way. Whoa. That thing's enormous. What is this? Pizza Vite. Greetings, Valley Cheesy Heart customer. Cheesy Heart Pizza and Sorbs is proud to present Pizza Vite, our new and improved drone delivery system. Guaranteed, no more street drops or roof pizzas. Guaranteed, on target, on time surgical strike delivery. <laughs> pizza to your. Pr to your. Pizza to your. Place of pizza, pizza to your pass, 
pose in five minutes or three. You see, they, they need to get acronyms in here. Because I immediately thought of pizza to your piece of shit <laughs> in five minutes or less. Melty heart or the price is not. Zipped to, zip to cheesy heart, hollow, and call in pizza beat. Well, you heard them, peeps. Pizza surgical strike delivery. They're gonna. <laughs> Gonna fucking send us piping hot pizza in uh, from uh, from orbit. It's gonna be like that Call of Duty nuke uh, kill streak. Fucking nuke your own house with pizza. Now, see, I wouldn't I wouldn't be against that so long as you know I get that orgasmic first bite of pizza before I'm obliterated. Just shove it down my gullet with uh <laughs> with uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Fatal speeds. <laughs> yep, we are we are looking at the future, peeps. Fuck! I missed every fucking second. Okay, I'm supposed to go that way. Comment down below, how would you feel about orbital pizza delivery? <laughs> oh man. I'm just imagining a... Uh, <laughs> like a nuclear bomb going off, only it's pizza. Again, I'm not opposed to it, I'm just... Curious about it. <laughs> How many casualties would there be if someone ordered a nuclear pizza? Or no, I didn't say nuclear, it said surgical strike delivery. Ho there! I thought they'd send soldiers. The mighty Karja Empire must be more strapped than I thought. How sad. No matter, bounty hunters die like the rest. Welcome! to my ravine of death. Are you serious? Sadist, murderer, trap maker, all these things. That's why they put me in that stinking hole. I'm curious. I don't suppose those behemoths that called to the prison killed Geneva. You're gonna be disappointed. Yeah, that's why I have my toys, to distract me from the pain. I mean, not yet, little acrobat. Don't we all need toys to distract from pain? Why, uh, why do you think YouTube Hello, exists? <laughs> yes. Oh, you're a trickster. Did he just call me a trickster? He knows me so well. But you're not on fire yet. Persistence, aren't you? <laughs> Easy does it. <laughs> yep, yeah, just uh, just take those blasts, Aloy. You can do it. <laughs> no, that's not what I wanted to do, Aloy. Or was it? <sighs> yeah, that's where I wanted to go. Can we just surgical strike his face with pizza? You got me. <laughs> no more traps. <laughs> Tell Geneva I'll be a good boy from now on. You expect me to believe that? What's in your hand? <laughs> oh, this? Well, just a little... Oops. <sighs> I guess he died doing what he loved. Yeah, I guess, uh... 
my gosh, they did. He made a handheld pizza bomb. Bomb. I wonder what sort of chains they used. Hey operator, what's the uh, what's the most common type of pizza cheese? Is it mozzarella? I don't know why, but I think some of the uh, some of the cheese choices just don't sit well with me. Now, there's only one place that was absolutely wretched. I think I told the story already, and I still don't know why it was like this for me. But uh, I ordered a pizza from uh, I think it was Pizza Hut. It was either Pizza Hut or Domino's. I want to say it was uh, it was Domino's. But I had like three or four slices, like I usually do. And that night, like I want to say six hours later, I was just aching badly. It felt like there were needles and knives in my belly, and it was just not fun. And for the next, I want to say, eight to nine hours, maybe. Poss possibly longer. Because this was a few years ago that this happened. I, uh, I was in literal agony. Literal agony. I felt like I wanted to just end my suffering. Because, honest and for truly, it felt like food poisoning. I couldn't sleep, I was having the hot sweats, and I, uh, yeah, it was not a good time. <laughs> and it lasted for at least, like I said, nine, eight, eight to nine hours. But, uh, yeah, so I never order pizza from any of the three major chains since that incident. And for anyone who doesn't know, the three major chains are uh, Pizza Hut, Domino's, and uh, Papa John's. I have a feeling that they're all owned by the same person. Because from what I can recall throughout my uh, throughout my years of living is they all use the same... Ah, fuck, sorry, I'm gonna have to go up there, that way. They all use the same, uh... What is it? The, the same ingredients, from what I noticed. I may be wrong about this, but I have a gut feeling and I'm usually never wrong with my gut feelings, but I have a gut feeling that uh, the three major chains all use the same or similar uh, ingredients, and it just makes for a really, really bad experience. <laughs> Okay, there's a bonfire. I can't, again, I can't eat anything from the three major chains because of how bad the experience was that one time. And I don't know if it's a saying or not, but they, I've heard somewhere that, uh, it takes one bad experience to uh, ruin a reputation forever. What is it like? Uh, two years to build up a reputation, two seconds to destroy it, something of the sort. I, th I think I think that's a quote, but don't quote me. On because I don't know the precise quote. <laughs> PG 2021. Thank you, everyone. Uh, 
<sighs> if you would like to get paid to somewhere, I mean, I per fuck, I gotta go to the right. I, I personally get my pizza from uh, Costco. They have the best price for a sizable pizza. Sadly, due to uh, COVID-19, they don't do uh, sausage, like pepperoni and sausage pizzas anymore. But uh, they still have pepperoni, which is nice. Can't have a pizza without at least some meat on it. And don't, don't even get me started with the pineapple. If you put pineapple on your pizza, you automatically a, uh, a moron, in my mind. Let's see, whoops, I went too far. I have to go back this way. Do I have to go all the way? I don't have to go all the way. Fuck. Okay, go down this way. If you put pineapple on your pizza, I'm just gonna fucking shit all over you. If you are my closest friend. Because pineapple on pizza makes your bloodline weak. Okay, I should be right on the path. Aha, this must be the path. It is the path. Perfect. Let's see, what other pizza toppings are there to think about? Nope, come, come on, Eloy. There you go. Um, what else? Um, I think that's pretty much everything. Like, cheese, uh, pepperoni, maybe get some sausage and salami on it. No pineapple. If you put pineapple on your pizza, you're a, uh, you're a heretic. Degenerates like you belong on a cross. <laughs> My sincere apologies for the uh, Fallout New Vegas reference. <laughs> if you haven't played uh, Fallout New Vegas or you haven't seen uh, any YouTubers play it, I highly recommend you watch it. It is a really great game, and I don't think there's enough content out there, that I've seen anyway, of uh, New Vegas. Totes a good game. What is this place? Oh snap, is this a bandit camp? You a god? What? It's not dying. <laughs> Come on, Peachy, don't be so insensitive. It's a man. Oh. It's a friendly NPC. <laughs> Oh, how glorious of me to uh, attack a friendly NPC. You know, this kind of reminds me of uh, Halo. Ha Halo 2 in particular. I was uh, I was playing Halo 2 recently with a, uh, a good mate of mine, Auden. And uh, we got to uh, Halo 2 and we both couldn't uh we, we both we got, we got to the point in the uh, the game 
where you had to play as the Arbiter. Sli slight spoiler, you get to play both sides. The uh, Marines and the Covenant. And we got to the point where we were playing the Arbiter and we couldn't tell friend from foe. So we just started attacking everyone. <laughs> And it made for uh, some interesting times. And then there came, uh, and then there came the bugs and the elites with the energy swords. Apparently, and again, this is some slight spoilers. Apparently, if you play the Master Chief Collection, and I don't fully remember this. I played this many years ago. Not the Master Chief Collection, but the Halo War Two. But apparently in the Master Chief Collection, there are, I think, elites with energy tools that pop out at the end of each level. And they can one-hit kill you with those energy tools. Now, again, I don't remember seeing them when I played Halo 1 and 2 all those decades ago. Good God, it is decades ago. And... Uh, The, the only thing I had to worry about was, um... Why, hello there, friends. The, the only thing I had to worry about was the actual regular NPC AI enemies. I... I'm rambling at this point. But anyway, I, I, I asked him about it. Is this stuff new? And he's like, no, I don't think it is. But I, I have a feeling a gut feeling that it was new just to make the games that much more difficult and again they have been proving quite uh, quite a challenge they are terrifying every time now I see an energy sword I'm gonna have PTSD to uh, Auden and myself getting absolutely rocked by <laughs> the enemies with energy swords. He and I were both uh, we're both casual players, so uh, we we don't do hardcore or legendary difficulties. Although I am currently playing Fallout New Vegas in hardcore mode, just because. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking challenge accepted at first, but it's getting to the point where I may have to disable hardcore mode. It's fun, don't get me wrong, but it is an immense challenge for me. <laughs> I, uh, I, can, I can only do so much hardcore mode. Now, surprisingly... I'm, I'm gonna have to end this episode soon, but surprisingly, uh, Dark Souls, I can, I can tolerate. I can, uh, I, I can tolerate Dark Souls. Uh, how am I gonna go about this? I have to cross that bridge, I believe, don't I? No, I don't, I have to go this way, okay. That... Uh, that makes things better. No, I don't have to. Fuck, I have to cross the bridge, okay. Yeah, there we go, I do have to cross the bridge. Well, that'll be for next time. Thank you, uh, thank you peeps for joining me. I do hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you tune into the next one. I hope, uh, I hope it perked you up a little. Cheers.